What's up guys? Uh, I want to share this with you. I bought a car, I blew up the motor, and now I'm parting it out. Through eBay, I sold and shipped the spare wheel and tire, and I'm going to show you how I shipped the wheel and tire I sold. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Here's what you do. Have the wheel and tire, or uh, just a wheel, or just the tire, and some shipping supplies. Scissors, cardboard, shipping tape. You can also use that like stretchy wrap stuff you can buy at either Lowe's, Home Depot, or online. And I, I use my printer and some paper as well because I made the shipping label from home. I wanted to fully protect the wheel and tire, so I wrapped it in this flimsy cardboardish flimsy stuff, as you can see here. Uh, and I make cuts in the tape and the thing, and then I twist it, and I spin it, and I bop it eventually. Yeah. Uh, and then I just entirely like taped it. Uh, if you're just shipping the tire, you can like tape the label itself and that's it. You don't need to like wrap it in cardboard. Uh, and you can also do the same thing with the wheel, but it may get like scratched up during shipping. Yeah. Do you see, <laughs> look at that. Do you see those duck commander Crocs I've got on there? Uh, I bought them from the thrift shop for like six bucks and they're my outside shoes. Like when I go outside, I slip them on. Uh, the problem is... I don't know. Did you guys know that Crocs shrink? They no longer fit. They shrank like three sizes. It's so weird. Anyway, the actual shipping cost to me for this was $36.70 through FedEx. Uh, it weighed 50 pounds. It was 28 inches by 28 inches by 9 inches. And uh, it was irregular packaging because it wasn't a box. It was irregular. Uh, if you ship across the country from East Coast to West Coast uh, with the same wheel and tire, it's about 90 bucks from FedEx and UPS and around 100 bucks uh, with the United States Postal Service. That's not too bad. Uh, after I was all done with the packaging, I taped the label on uh, really good so it wouldn't like fall off. And then I dropped it off at the FedEx store that's near me. Some services will offer like pickup as well from your house or location or wherever you're at. So yeah, you can do that as an option. Hey, before watching this video, did you know how to ship a tire and a wheel? And did you know it was that easy? You should, uh, you should let me know in the comments below. You should let the world know in the comments below. Should you though? Is it gonna be a poem? Nope. If you like this video, there's a button for that. And if you wanna see more helpful videos like it, there's a button for that, subscribe. And if you're just bored, cruise my channel. You might like it. I hope that helped. See you later, internet.